everybody welcome back to another video um, this video I'm probably just gonna do some interior work um, see if I can put that dash pad in I have a little bit of a repair to do on it I'm gonna see if that works if not I don't, know. don't feel like buying a new dash pad so um, and I gotta work on my windows so the windows for the install the doors um, unfortunately I messed up and my rear window uh, has grinder marks on it. Um, just the spatter from the grinding. I didn't cover them up. It was stupid. Big mistake. And one of my quarter windows, uh, I'm gonna show you what I did with it. It was just an accident. I hit it with a uh, sander. Um, but I'll show you what so it looks like. This is the quarter glass uh, for the driver's side, I believe. Um, I don't know if you can see kind of that mark right there. There's a bunch of little Small semicircles. I hit it with the DA by accident. Um, it was a dumb move. Oh, yeah, you can see the little circles there. There it is. It's in focus. Um, up here, the rest of the window looks all right. There's the usual, you know, it's 40 year old glass. Um, but yeah, I got to deal with that. So I bought a, a polishing kit that you just kind of put on a drill and then some glass polish. And I'm going to see if I can get those scratches out. I don't know if it's going to work or not. It may be there for a bit, um, but I'm going to try something anyway, or at least, you know, make it not so noticeable. So I'll give that a shot. I'll show you what I'm working with and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but I decided like, I think the sandpaper I was using was like a 40 grit or a 120 grit. I can't remember, but you can still see kind of the swirl marks. So I decided to just, Touch it up with a 2000 grit um, and you can see it kind of they're not super noticeable now but you still see the swirls like it went pretty deep um, so now instead of having a clear glass you can see when I put the light on it's more of a uh, yeah and you can see the swirl marks and the fading um, where it's where I've sanded so far and there's another spot down here that I noticed that I did so and that actually kind of came out, but I'm gonna keep going until I get rid of those little swirl, swirl marks. And then we'll use that uh, polishing compound I bought and uh, see how that goes. Okay, well, I started off with 2000 and I realized it was a little, not quite aggressive enough. So I went all the way down to 600, then I did 1000, then I did 2000, all by hand. Um, I feel like I need, it doesn't look bad now, you can still see a little bit. It's tough to get it in the reflection. Um, where is it? Yeah, kind of right there. Not the end of the world. Um, it doesn't show up as much as it did before. Like, you really have to see it in a reflection. I don't think, you know, my passengers will probably be able to see through it, no problem. There's a little bit of around the edges that just isn't clear yet. You can still see the swirls a little bit. It's tough, to, really tough to see on the camera here. Um, but it looks way better. So I'm probably just, I may give it one more pass. Um, and that'll be it for this glass. Um, yeah, I think that'll be fine for now. If at a later date, I don't like the look of it. Maybe I'll see about getting new glass. But right now I have glass, it's not broken. The only piece I don't have is the windshield because it was had a crack in it when I took it out. So, or it was in there before I took it out. Um, so I need a new windshield, but the rest of the glass, not cracked. It's not great, but it's gonna have to do for now. So. Okay, so it's my glass all cleaned up. Um, looks all right. You can't see that scratch unless you really look. Uh, but you know, flying by on the road, you'll never notice. So I've got that. Uh, Bracket all cleaned up. It was really dirty. Just grease and dirt and you name it. Um, I don't think I explained what I was using to polish. Um, I just bought a kit, cheap kit off Amazon uh, that fits in your drill. Um, it's just got the Velcro interchangeable pads on it and I used um, some glass polishing compound. I had some other powdered stuff. You gotta mix it on your own. It worked the same. It's the same stuff, but I ran out so. Um, yeah, had to buy some more. Um, yeah, it seems to work okay. 
Definitely took out the 2000 grit scratches off of it. Um, and the more, it takes a little while. Like it's not instant, obviously. Um, it's not like polish and paint or anything. Um, yeah, it took, well, it's been an hour and a half, two hours. Um, if I kept on sanding, it'd probably be all gone. Um, but uh, I don't want to risk doing any more damage to it. Um, yeah, looks good so far. I'm just going to move on um, to my other glass, I guess. Well, I can't do anything with that right now. I can just I can clean up the brackets, but the window glass has come unglued from this bracket here. Um, so I'm waiting on some proper glue for windows to glue those back in. Um, I'll do a whole video on just windows and stuff, I guess, at a later date. Um, but for now, done with that. But now I want to, uh, I can put my dash pad in, I guess. So I still have to cut holes in here for the AC vents. Um, oh, apparently my hand's dirty there. Um, dash pad doesn't look too bad. This is the original one. Um, it's only got the usual cracks in it right here and here. I'm going to see if I can just dress these up a little bit. Um, I bought a vinyl repair kit. I don't know if it'll work or not. Um, I'm going to give it a shot. If that doesn't work, I it doesn't work. And I'll figure something else out or just leave it. I don't... It's another thing. I don't feel like buying a whole dash pad yet. Um, it's honestly like 99% good. Um, surprisingly, it was out of the sun for the last 40 years. So it was just sitting in the barn. So... Um, definitely dirty. Um, even the inside doesn't look terrible. Um, you can see where the speaker was. It's a little bit rusty. I'll spray a little paint on there just to keep the rust down, but everything else looks good. Like you can see the inside of it. Um, it's not rusted out or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get that kind of cleaned up and started and I can cut my holes in there for my vents and, uh, we'll see what else I can get up to. So I'll be back. All right, so I got my front uh, vents installed. Hopefully that's okay. These vintage air vents aren't, I'll be honest with you, not the greatest. They're just pure plastic, so you got to be real gentle with them. They'll hold, but you can't be forcing them into places they shouldn't be. Um, I'm, not, I'm still not sure how uh, I'm going to get the hoses on there because it's awfully tight between these two, but I guess we'll figure that out. Um, so yeah, I had to, this dash originally has a frame around it because it, you know, these cars did come with AC and that's where the original vents went, but the vintage air vents don't line up with that hole. Like there's a metal frame here with a cutout. Um, so I had to just die grind down this metal frame a little bit. Um, I thought maybe I could make them fit, but there's, these are just a little too wide in there. Um, but it's in there now. Seems fairly snug. Um, just a little bit of work, and uh, that's that. So um, next, I'm going to see if I can um, maybe patch this up a bit. It's pretty brittle. Like it's hard um, all the way along here. Obviously, I don't want to make it any worse. So I'm just going to try that out. Um, See how that works? It may look like hell. Hopefully not. Um, but I think you know, it's made to do this, so hopefully it uh, works okay. Or I could just leave it. I don't know. It's not the end of the world, but uh, I don't know. We'll try it. We'll try it out. If not, I'll see. We'll see what happens. I guess. I don't know. Okay. Well, it's the next day. Um, I finished up doing uh, that vinyl repair kit. Um, I just followed the instructions on the box um, and this is how it turned out. Um, doesn't look super great, like on the where it was, parts where it was hard, like the, the split's gone, um, but it doesn't look fantastic. This was plan A. If this turned out great, I was gonna keep it. Plan B, um, I have an idea. Um, what I think is probably not a horrible idea is you see some cars that have like a tray or something right here just to put whatever on their dash. I'm going to install this and just see how flat this sits. Um, I do have access to a 3D printer so I think I can just print up like a little tray 
cut this out and then recess it in there. I removed, um, like there's a metal bracket in here and it was all rusted out. I'm not going to fasten, I'm not putting the speaker back in, so that's all that was there for. Um, so that's just like a soft rubber piece. Like it's, it's pretty rotten too, so it just tears out. Um, yeah, I could recess a tray down in there, um, which may be an option. So I'm going to, that can be done anytime. Um, it's not a big deal. Just have to cut this out and put it in. Um, yeah, but for now, I can probably install it um, and uh, see how it fits if I have to do anything. I was just looking back in old videos just to see how many screws I actually took out. And yeah, there's a few trim pieces. One, I'm missing one piece. You can see I have the sides that go up along the A pillars and these are the end trim pieces. I have to put a coat of paint on these. They're pretty, they're marked up pretty good. Um, but I am missing, this is goes around the radio, I believe. Um, so there's one in the center column, or I only have one. I don't know where the other one is. I don't know if I ever had it either. Because I look back on my old videos and I never took these off. These were already off. Because um, when I got the car, like the radio was out of it and that whole faceplate was flopping around. So these were probably, it was probably just laying in the bottom of the car. Um, I only have one of them. So who knows where the other one went. If it comes to the end of it, it's not like imperative that I have that just to kind of dress it up, you know. But if I don't have it, then I can, at a later date, I can figure out where to get one, so. Okay. So, I didn't record any of that stuff. But, um, there's my dash pad all installed. Now, I'm going under the assumption that I'll be able to put a windshield in without removing the dash pad and the east trim panels. Um, I'm hoping that's the case, because I already got it installed. If not, you know, I actually had to put it in twice today, because I forgot that these trim panels on the side needs to go in first. So I had everything nice, all buttoned up, and then I grabbed those and went, out. Oh, okay. So I had to take everything back off. So that was good, but that's what my dash looks like right now. Um, you know, cracks are sealed up, I guess. Um, it'll keep from getting worse, hopefully. But uh, I still may look into uh, just making a tray for that. I think that'd probably look okay. Um, but yeah, it's coming along. I also, just kind of puttering, I put some soundproofing in my doors. Um, just so it sounds a little more solid. It, was, it just sounded, you know, hollow and tinny. Now just a solid clunk when I close the door, um, which is nice. So, just uh, I think the next thing I'll probably do is put these door handles on so I can finally stop reaching inside. Uh, we'll see what, I have all the parts ready to go there. Um, I'm just working towards getting my windows kind of started and in. My glue for my windows should be here earlier, well, this week sometime, so. Um, Maybe I can pick this up when those come back in, when those parts come in, I guess. Okay, so my uh, glass gluing stuff isn't going to be here for a few days. I thought it was going to be here today. It's not. Um, so I've decided to move on to the trim around the door. As you can see, this is what it looks like. It's a piece of, I think it's a piece of stainless. It looks stainless, um, but it has essentially a like a weather strip on the one side that attaches to the um, car and the other side is where your door like rubber seal goes it goes in that channel so and this needs to be cleaned up though um, as you can see that's the old weather stripping something on there um, I did one already and it is just god awfully filthy as you can see um, it's just like a tar glue adhesive mix, um, but I didn't get it cleaned up. It's not installed yet, it's just set in place. Um, looks pretty good. Um, yeah, there's little slots that it just kind of slides into, then you screw it in. You put your weather stripping behind it, and then you screw it along. And then you put your spaces for your window guides right there. Um, where else? Uh, there's one there. And it should be one more somewhere, right there. So, those were, these things go. These are brand new ones. Here, let me pull one out for you. 
Yeah, these are them. These, I believe, go right here. And that kind of keeps your window in place, from what I've been told. Uh oh So now it's coming out. So it's just gently being held in there. Um, uh oh I got me two hands. So you can see, it kind of goes in. There's a slot right back there, and there's another, like a big pin that kind of goes in there. Yeah, the one goes here, and one goes here. So, I got new ones of those. The uh, original ones, they were, one was completely snapped off, the rest were in pretty tough shape. Um, not much to them, just a piece of little sheet metal with a coating on it, but they were only like three bucks or something a piece, but you know, everything adds up. So that should be good. Once I get to the other, so right now I'm going to clean up that other one, then I can uh, get these installed. Okay. Well, here's that trim, all cleaned up. Um, only took about an hour and about a gallon of toxic chemicals. And yeah, clean as a whistle now. Look at that. Sparkling. That is going to go, let me just, sorry about the view there. <laughs> that is going to go in here. So, I think, yeah, that's the right way. If I line it up right, I can probably maybe do it with one hand, possibly. That goes up in there. I don't really need to do this, but it's just kind of nice to, you know, look at it. Let's see what we got here. Old mats. There. It's kind of okay. Yeah. Anyways, screws will hold it in, but fits, doesn't look like it's all messed up or anything, but yet. Oops, God, gonna be easy on my paint job here. I keep touching the edges. All right, so I think that's it for me tonight, though. I'm gonna put this away nice and safe so it doesn't get wrecked. Um, tomorrow, yeah. Done for the night, I will be back, and tomorrow I'll put that trim on. Should be not too terrible, hopefully. All right, well, it's a couple days later. Um, so I did manage to get one of the pieces of trim installed. Um, so behind this um, piece, there's a uh, piece of weather stripping that goes in there. And it just gets compressed, so it seals between the, uh, the roof rail and the body. You see I got my uh, window guides in there. Um, there's a cutout, so you know where they are. Um, only one problem is, so I ordered a gasket kit. Comes with everything you need to do all your stuff. Comes with roof, roof rail, uh, weather stripping. That's all it is. It's quarter inch foam, three quarter inch wide, and it says it's enough to do your entire car. Well, it's not. So I think I'm short probably about 18 inches of this stuff, which is annoying. So I've got it just kind of resting in there now, um, but I still have to take it off, put the weather stripping on the back. Um, I did buy, it's almost identical. I just went to Home Depot. It's just closed cell, you know, foam weather stripping. Um, the stuff I got is a little more dense. Um, so it's kind of annoying having to buy it twice, but, uh, Oh well, I put I left a review on the website just to kind of warn people in the future. Unless I'm doing it wrong, like I under the impression that you put it all, you know, cover the entire length of the weather strip, you know, the roof rail. Um, unless that's wrong, I don't know why it would be wrong. Um, you think it would want to be sealed? Like when I took the old stuff off, it was on every piece of the roof rail, so I'm just putting it back to the way it was. So um, I can get you set up, and I'll show you how that's done. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. Well, let's get that roof rail off of there. It should just fall off. Hopefully. There we go. Do it without scratching anything. Let's see. 
So the idea is you just stick this all along the back. Um, actually, I might clean that up with some brake cleaner first. Make sure there's no residue left on it. All right. Go nice and clean. Like that. And start back here, I guess. Let this peel off. The other end. Better. I don't think there's a right or a wrong way to do it. It's pretty straightforward. You're just putting this on the back. Um, I thought maybe if I really stretched it out, I could have got enough to do the whole thing, but I don't know. I think it's going to be close. I'm pretty sure I don't. I needed some. I just kind of held up there last night, but it only takes, you know, took two hours to clean everything. Um, and it takes about 10 minutes to install, so pretty easy. Uh, yeah, you can see how much I'm short. Not much. So that's kind of annoying. I had to buy a whole new roll just to get that. Um, and could I leave it off? I don't know. Probably. But, you know, kind of the point of doing this. I've come this far. Why well, leave off? You know, just a little bit. So get that put on. It's a little different consistency. Like it's a little stiffer, it doesn't compress as much as the other one, but I think it should be all right for this. There we go. There. Okay. So I'm going to just get a screw here, find a spot that I can put the screw in, that way I can just get it started. And there, right, yep. Get in there without scratching anything. Started in there and then get it in the hold.
But I never interrupt, and I had to call and yell at a dealership, so. Uh, I don't know. Nothing drives me nuts more than you ask somebody to do something, especially simple thing like fix a tire, and they can't even do that. Like, it's just infuriating. Like, it's not hard. When I say replace all the valve stems, the valve stems are rotten on a set of tires. Replace all the valve stems. And they go, only one was bad. And then send you on your way. I look at them again, There's, they're rotten. So the mechanic, or mechanic, the probably high school kid that looked at it, didn't even bother to look at it. So, I can't wait for this phone call tomorrow. This is gonna be really great. But, my God, like, just brutal. I don't know what's happened over the years where you, you know, you trust somebody to, I've had several run-ins with dealerships where you trust them to do something or to lead you down the right path and they just absolutely screw you over or they just don't care. And that's why I rarely take stuff to a mechanic unless I have to, unless I'm forced to, then I will take it to a mechanic. I figure tires aren't bad. I have a friend who's a mechanic, good guy, I trust him. This was a dealership. This was not him. <laughs> I have nothing but problems with dealerships. I think they just hire anybody off the street to go work there. And just absolutely ridiculous. I just, I just can't stand it. Anywho's, trim's going on okay. So, oh, that is in there now. So now I can uh, go ahead and install my uh, weather stripping, which I think I'm gonna give that a shot right now. Okay, well, I did the driver's side. So yeah, sorry. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, there's one screw that goes in the bottom, screw hole there. You can see um, there's a little eyelet there that the screw goes in and then this kind of pushes in to there and yeah glue it in place it's pretty straightforward um, it does recommend to use this um, 3m super black weather strip and gasket adhesive uh, it works really well it dries quick it's you put it on both sides like any rubber cement you put it on both sides you wait till it tacks up which is, happens in like two to three minutes and yeah, stick it on. I'm just using a screwdriver just to kind of place the gasket. One side I can get in, just slide it in, and the other side you just have to pop it in. Um, it's going really well. So I'm just gonna do that on this side. <laughs>
Okay, there it is. Got some weather stripping installed. Um, it's actually pretty easy. Um, that uh, weather stripping adhesive makes it pretty simple. It There's no screwing around, there's no real weight. Um, it says it takes 24 hours to cure, um, but it's held in there pretty securely. Um, yeah, easy to use. I like it. So that's what I'd, uh, yeah, I didn't use that much. I just had one tube and that did two doors. Um, I still have the trunk lid left to do and my door gaskets. I think maybe one more gasket, I can't remember. Um, yeah, I think that looks okay. The other side looks the same. So um, pretty happy with it. On that note, I'm gonna end this video. Um, thanks for watching. Next video, I'll probably see if I can't um, attack my driver's side and passenger side windows. Um, see what I can do with them. Um, but in the meantime, I have to, I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna go have a drink because I still am not happy with that dealership. I don't know, I hope that made sense to everybody. But anyways, I don't like it when people don't care about their job, I don't know. Especially when it comes to safety. Um, anyways, well, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next video. And if I don't put out before Christmas, Merry Christmas. All right, take care.